Hello YouTube, Project to Tell members, or anyone on the internet who may have stumbled across this video series about D2BS, more commonly known as Colbot, a working Diablo 2 bot for version 1.14D as of April the 29th, 2018, on official Battle.net servers. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to obtain, install, and then configure Colbot to work with official Battle.net servers. However, before I get into that, I want to give a couple of disclaimers, including that I am not associated with DTBS, Colbot, Colton, or Noah themselves. Secondly, I would like to say that this is a bannable offense and that you can lose any of your keys, your accounts, your characters, or a combination of any of the above. If you're okay with these risks and you wish to continue, let's get started. First program we want to start here is Tortoise SVN. I'm not going to show you how to download and install it, it's pretty self explanatory. All the links are going to be in the description, both to your project at all here and the direct links themselves so that you guys can go check this out and get this done. So once you have that downloaded and installed, let's go ahead and copy this link right here. And keep in mind, if you click this link without Tortoise SVN installed, it's not going to work. So you need to have this installed before you copy and try to install this link. So next up, we're going to create a new folder on our desktop, and this is where we're going to put the bot files. So name it accordingly, whatever you wish to name it, doesn't matter. And we're going to right click on the folder and go to SVN Checkout. We're going to copy and paste in our link, and then we're going to hit OK. We can leave all of the original settings the way that they are. This will download all the files that are required for Colbot to work. And then when it's done, it's going to say completed at revision 16445. In my case, your case, it may be a different number, probably a larger, newer number. If it does, that's perfectly fine. As long as it says completed at, you're all good to go. Next up, we need to download both Microsoft Visual C++ 2010, the x86 package, and Microsoft.NET Framework 4, or also known as 4.0. Now, if you guys receive a screen when you're trying to install either one of these that just shows you a repair option, it doesn't have an installation option, that means that you already have it and you can ignore that step and continue on. This is where I'm going to leave the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.